Hey y'all, so we are working on getting our chick shawl moved out onto the garden area so that they can be working the garden for during the winter time. We're gonna move them around some. Um, and we have our electric fencing we're gonna put out here with them. And in the meantime, while they're doing that, we're gonna be building their permanent structure that's on the other side of the garden. So we're fixing to get this all set up. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. We are Shorebound Farms, a family of three living in Northeast Louisiana. This is the second part of our November adventures. We had such a busy month and I am just closing it out with a mesh of videos. Here's a photo or video. We caught some deer in the back field. We were trying to catch it on camera. This is why we were trying to get things set up for our chickens. And earlier in the video I talked about I was we were going to set up our fencing our temporary fencing for the chickens and Stephen had to run over to the neighbors Phoebe was taking a nap and I was like I'm just not gonna go ahead and get started because it's getting late that's how it always happens though like it starts getting late and we're trying to beat the Sun and you don't have that much Sun this time of year so if you're not out there as soon as it's up then you know you're just gonna miss it the fun part is we've had this fencing put away for a while and whenever I drug it out it was pretty tangled up because it had been moved around a couple times and I think like just moving it around kind of messed up the um, the way it was laid together and so I had to really pull it out and straighten it out before I could even get this fence put up We actually spilled their water that was inside I don't know why we didn't take it out but nobody was wet and that was good because it was cold as you can tell by my get up I like how their little heads are popping out and you can see them like a silhouette it's funny so we're putting them on our garden area we try to grow a few things in this area last this last summer we didn't have a whole lot of luck um, we had great luck with some peas but the ground is really bad right there it's just been fallow for several years I don't even know before we lived here what anyone did with it but you can tell it just hasn't been used so we're trying to get it back up to good condition and hopefully have a good garden this next spring or a lot better than we did have and with the chickens and the ducks on it, we can really help to make the soil somewhat better. And we're going to have to uh, put some tarps down over the area as well. But that'll be after we run the chickens and ducks on it for a while. We got the ducks moved into the new, newest tractor. So we can move them easier. And last night we got this moved out here on the garden area as well. So that we could move them around to work the garden some this winter. <sighs> Good morning. They seem excited.
they already need to be moved. Huh? They already need to be moved. Hey y'all, happy Thanksgiving. I am trying to get everything ready for our little Thanksgiving lunch here at the house we're gonna have. It's just gonna be me and Stephen and Phoebe and then later we're gonna go to my parents' house in the evening and so I'm gonna try to prep a few things. I've got our own meal and then a few things I'm taking over there. I'm planning on making dressing. Um, we're gonna smoke a turkey. I was gonna fry a turkey, but we are fry we need a new fryer. But our um, yeah, I don't know. We need a new fryer, and I just haven't been to the store to get one. Plus, I figure since it'll just be one turkey, let's just not pay for the oil. It's kind of expensive anyway. So we'll just smoke it. I'm a smoker. It may go in the oven, but I'm probably gonna smoke it. Uh, so I'll be getting that ready later too. We're gonna do some turnip greens and turnips and um, what else are we having? I gotta make broccoli rice casserole, a salad, buttermilk pie. Uh, that's going to my parents' house. And we'll have some rolls here. I'm gonna make some cranberry sauce. And yeah, we make cranberry sauce. We don't do the can. Um, some other stuff we're doing and I can't seem to think of it right now but I also have to make a cake a birthday cake uh, for a little girl down the road from our neighbor's daughter and they're so busy so she asked me to make a cake for them. Um, that's for Saturday what else am I making? I think I made a list and now I don't remember what I'm making it's not like it has to be a whole lot because it's just going to be us three <laughs> I guess it'd be, oh, we'll make some giblet gravy, or giblet gravy, however you want to say it. Steve and I argue over whether it's giblet or giblets, but we grew up saying giblet, he grew up saying giblet. I can't think. I'm sure we'll figure out, oh, I was going to make some sweet potatoes. Not yams. I was going to make some sweet potatoes with rosemary and salt and olive oil, just because I like that, and I know Phoebe will eat that. I don't know what else. We'll figure it out as we go. So I apparently lost a lot of footage and I don't know what I did, but in November I just, I thought I was uploading it to the drive and some things I guess I deleted off my phone before I actually successfully uploaded it to the drive. But this is just a uh, mishmash of videos of getting some food ready for Thanksgiving. I had a ton of garlic to cut up and I just, you know, it's not until these big meals that you're like, wow, we use a lot of garlic out. And it just keeps going. It just keeps going. The hilarious thing to me is that I managed to have all of this garlic footage and not a lot of anything else. <laughs> so here we are, chopping garlic. More garlic, 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 garlic. But who doesn't love garlic? My chicken done I've got to debone it put it in I guess save the stock too um, I have some broth in the fridge as well so I should have plenty of chicken stock I'm mixing up a brine for the turkey to sit in overnight um, I do a wet brine I've tried a dry brine before and it just never turns out for me like they say it's supposed to. I don't know why. I mean, maybe I'm just not doing it right. But anyway, this has some brown sugar, salt, uh, kosher, brown sugar, kosher salt, and I've got it in warm water right now to melt all that and mix it together. Some thyme, rosemary, and some sage, and um, I think that's all I'm gonna put it in, put in it. I'm gonna add a little more water to cool this down once the salt and sugar has completely dissolved 
and then put our turkey in overnight in the fridge. So we love our cornbread dressing during the holidays. I'm sure other people have their stuffing, but we only have cornbread dressing. So here we are making it for the next day. And I usually mix it up and put it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, I'll get up and finish it off and then put it in the oven. One thing my grandmother always swore by whenever making dressing was that you needed to add in your cooked vegetables from your chicken stock as well as the fresh vegetables. And here's our nice turkey that I smoked. And then Friday I baked the cakes for the birthday cake. And Saturday I got up and I finished decorating it. All in all, we had a really good Thanksgiving holiday. Well guys, that's it for us. That's it for November. Hopefully I'll get some December content out soon. And thanks for coming along. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, leave a comment, and find us on Facebook and Instagram at Shorebound Farm. We will see you guys later. Bye!